At the start of the movie, we are shown a mother driving her car while listening to songs on the radio. She intentionally parks her car in the center of the railway track and the surprising thing was that she put her child's life in danger. She left her son there to die. In the next scene, we are introduced to a girl named Carly. She belongs to a family consisting of two siblings, a brother and a sister, as well as their parents. In the city where they live, the parents take great care of their children. They always provide them with companionship and spend quality time together. Carly's parents were watching news in the television. This news was about the same car that a car collided with a train. And there was also a baby in that car. Now after this news, the family doesn't care much because they was busy with her talks Carly's mother informs her that we must visit the hospital today. Your aunt is about to give birth to a child. She is not interested in going to the hospital and seeing the baby. Now we see Carly's brother, who does not go to school. He did not like going to school and is uninterested in studying. He is a mischievous child, but still his father loves him very much. On the other side in the school, we see Carly in class with a friend. The teacher is in the middle of teaching when suddenly their phone rings. At that moment, the parents of a girl come to pick her up. This scenario repeats, and as time passes, the phone keeps ringing, and the parents of the entire class start coming to pick up their children. And the teacher has no idea what is going on outside. The police are stationed, and several cars are on their way to other schools. It's most likely to transport students from different schools. When Carly and her friend notice a group students, they are going to the location where their parents have come to pick them up. There are some barrier fences placed there. On the other side, parents are waiting for their children. They are not permitted to pass through the barrier by the police. Then we observe a child who is running towards his parents, who are calling him. But he is stopped to cross the barrier by the police or his teachers. But he persists and succeeded to reaching out to them. The most terrifying event happens, the mom attacks him with the key and kills him gradually. Not only that, but all of the parents were in the same situation, and the situation outside becomes severe because the parents had gathered in large numbers outside. As a result, they are successful in getting into school. Seeing this all of the children are now fleeing because they have watched their parents murdering their own children. The school's security was also attempting to save them. So, they can't be harmed. Carly and her friend were relieved and expressing gratitude that their parents hadn't come to pick them up yet, as they feared they would have been attacked as well. When Carly's friend attempts examinations and discovers that his parents have not arrived, he returns home and notices that his father's seat is missing, implying that he is not at home. The house was likewise in poor condition, implying that something had occurred. He notices the strewn items and begins to put them back together. In the meantime, he detects someone near him, and it turns out to be his father. He hits him, and he's holding a glass bottle. He slides it to sharpen it and attack his son with it. Carly's friend tries to flee, but he is pursued by his father. Suddenly, something happens to his father, and he starts stabbing himself with a bottle, causing harm to himself and damaging his own neck. The boy becomes upset since he is unable to see his father in this situation. He wanted to help him, but he was unsure how to do it. He couldn't figure out a way to assist him. In the next scene, we see Carly's mother, who is visibly upset and crying. Because her daughter is oblivious to her and misbehaves. But then, she receives a call from her sister, informing her that she has given birth to a child. Now there we see Carly and her friend. They manage to get away from school and go to Carly's friend's house. Carly was sitting in front of the television, she thinks that it has been so long now. My friend should have returned by now. And notices something is wrong right away. She begins to find her, and she soon finds that her friend has been murdered by her own mother. Now there, Carly's mother sees a news as she arrives in the hospital, a gang has emerged that is using chemicals as a drug, and it affects those parents who love their children immensely. 
They're killing their own children as a side effect of this medicine. After that when Carly's mother enters the room, she discovers that her sister has just given birth. The lovely child has been born. She notices Carly's aunt is quite pleased, and she looks at her son with immense love and care. She hugs him and love him, due to which that chemical activates. And she hugs him so strongly that the child's breathing fades away. Carly's mother had already seen the news, so, she also tries to take the infant, the doctors as well try to take the baby. But she refuses to let go of him since she has a strong grip on him. Carly's mother, tries and eventually takes the baby. Later, Carly's aunt tries to use the cutter to attack him and to kill him. Carly's mother, on the other hand, rescues the infant. On the other hand, when Carly notices that her friend's mother has murdered her. And she runs away from there, and on the way, she witnesses a number of strange events, including a dad has murdered his own son. With the bat of a baseball, she feels terrified when sees. But then her friend comes behind her, whom she likes. There they both are talking that Carly is still safe because her mom doesn't love her that much because Carly doesn't love her and their bond is not strong enough that this chemical can affect them. So now the one who is in danger is Carly's younger brother because his parents love him a lot and now they both decide that they will go home and save his life. There we see Carly's father in his office who has not yet come home and is feeling very tired in the office, looking exhausted. Everything starts blurring on his TV and this happens when someone has to be affected, mean when that chemical has to affect someone and now he starts screaming loudly here. Now there Carly's mother was continuously calling her husband because she was worried about her son that my husband should not kill my son because the way the situation is going on, they don't trust him. Now a nurse comes to Carly's mother and tells her that this baby has to be kept in the hospital because it is very young. But Carly's mother says that no, I will not give the baby. Now the nurse also tells that no doubt the same drug has been found in your sister's blood, but we will keep the baby in a safe room. Now after this, the baby is taken to the hospital and placed in a safe room. But there are many more children in that room. And the outside of this room is very scary, because the parents were staring at their children like ghosts. Now. Carla's mother was very worried. She wanted to reach home immediately before her husband reached home and killed her son. Because her husband was very attached to his son. Anyway, there was nothing to worry about because Carly and her friend had already reached outside the house. As soon as Carly and her friend enter the house, they see a maid. So the maid says to Carly, Hey, you came early, should I prepare your lunch? So Carly says, no, no, just tell me where is my brother. But then she notices that the broom the maid is using for cleaning is stained with blood. She doesn't see the maid's daughter anywhere, and she understands that the maid has killed her own daughter. Filled with fear, she tells the maid, you need to leave this house immediately. Afterward, Carly starts searching for her brother. She goes upstairs to look for her brother. She notices him hiding under the bed, terrified. Carly asks him, brother are you safe here, and he replies, yes sister, I am fine, but I was scared. I saw the maid when she was killing her daughter. And that's why I got scared and hide upstairs. So Carly tells him, well done my brother, you did a great job. Now come, let's go together, because our life is in danger here. Carly's father has arrived at home, and they are unsure how to flee away. Carly's friend decides to distract by going to her father. As a result, they may flee, and he may join them. But Carly's father starts yelling at him, and the two have a huge fight. Carly's brother is terrified and seeks help from his father. He is completely unaware of the current situation. But his father wanted to kill him, so he also runs to him immediately, but Carly's friend stops him and Carly's father pushes him and starts chasing after his kids. Now both the kids start running away from their father, and their father slips from the toy car and falls. So luckily, both the kids get a chance to hide in the basement. Now their Carly's mother was worried and driving the car quickly to reach home. She notices a mother tossing her son, 
in front of her car so he'll be killed but Carly's mom saves him. And now she reaches home, she sees her husband faints. Now we find some changes in Carly's mom too. As the medicine is affecting her and she joins her husband. As her husband wakes up they plan to bring their children out from the basement. They'll kill them later, and Carly's mother politely tells them, that, come out, I am fine and unaffected by the medicine. Because I haven't been frank with you since childhood also not you, I won't kill you. Come out, but Carly says, sorry, mom, we can't, because their father was also present outside. As Carly's father hears this, he begins to yell and badmouths his children. They then begin to break the door down with a drill machine while holding a knife. However, the door was exceedingly strong and could not be broken. His father plans to use the gun he'd hidden to murder them. Luckily, his son has already taken the weapon. He fires the gun from inside, which hits Carly's mother in the hand. When Carly's father is bandaging her they both come up with a plan to release gas in the basement to evacuate their children from there. They inject the poisonous gas into the room so that their children are unable to breathe. We are shown in the next scene, we see Carly's mother noticing a part of her finger. She tries to cut, but Carly manages to save herself. Now their parents stand outside, listening to their children's screams. When they die slowly with the poisonous gas. Children have not died, so they have the hope that perhaps the gas accumulates in the room all night, causing them to suffocate and die. After a while, we notice that the gas has started to have an effect. Carly was terrified, but it was for her brother's sake, whose face had turned yellow. While taking a breath, Carly was troubled. She was looking for a ventilator and was successful. They can not only release the gas, but also get themselves out of the place. Carly resolves to kill their parents before they leave so they won't be afraid later. She decides to use a matchstick to attach it to the door. As they exit the ventilation system, her parents will enter. Because of the friction, a matchstick would be burned. The entire room will be set on fire because of the gas. As a result, both of her parents will die. They depart the ventilation system and cough as they do so. So that their parents may hear them and eventually come to see them. Their parents excitedly arrive, and according to the plan. The matchstick catches friction with the door and room burns because of the gas. As a result, a massive explosion occurs, and Carly's father is thrown away. Carly's mother fainted out there as well, and Carly has taken her brother to the roof. When she hears the sound of a boom, she believes her parents have fainted so it is safe downstairs, and now they will run away from here. But as Carly is coming down, her mother regains consciousness and sees her daughter. She starts chasing Carly, who tries to lock herself in a room. But her mother also enters the same room, and Carly bites her on her hand. During this Carly's friend who had fainted now wakes up and came here to help. He with the help of Carly locks her mother in the closet. They believe she has passed out and will die shortly because she has been silent for a long time. They don't realize she's acting, and suddenly she attacks them with a broken hanger afterward. This shattered hanger stabs in Carly's friend's face. As a result, his face becomes damaged and bleeds profusely. Carly and her brother attempt to flee during this time. But they were surrounded by their parents, as their father had also gained senses. The doorbell rings before they can kill them. And we came to know Carly's grandparents had arrived today. As Carly's father opens the door, they see their parents standing in front of them, and it is apparent that their parents also loved them. Carly's grandmother sprays them with a spray on their mouths, and Carly's grandfather attacks their father with a knife. Here Carly's father is also trying to kill his own children. Everyone was pursuing each other. And Carly's brother, after becoming scared hides in his father's car. And Carly runs outside the house because her mother wanted to kill her. But just then, Carly's grandma comes to rescue and saves her. Carly's father starts in his car, which collides with his mother and father as well. Because of this Carly's grandfather dies. Carly's parents were gonna murder their children once more. 
Carly's friend appears and saves them once more and attack her parents. Carly's mother fainted as a result of his attack. The following scene reveals that all of the kids have imprisoned their parents in the basement. Carly's parents were pleading with them to let them go. The kids start crying and don't say anything. Because their parents appear them the killers. They don't have any other option. They have a regret when their parents were crying why they didn't pay them back. It means they didn't listen to them and didn't love them. When Carly's parents see their children crying, they begin to tell them they loved them but sometimes they tease them enough that we think to take their life. But they can't do this because they loved them. The children who remain rude with their parents have deserved the same. The film end here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notification to watch more videos like this and show us support for our effort. Take care.